hi and welcome everyone again it's me arjun today we are going to discuss about mail merge features in microsoft word before starting the video i would request you to subscribe my channel um, that encourages me to create more video on coming future well mail merge features allow us to create and print same document for multiple recipient i have dummy sample invitation letter and data file over here i have already created as a dummy data this is the invitation letter so date here and some content it's a sample document so you can make your own document for your office for your any of the job what we are going to do is um, with the help of mail more features we are going to create letter for the many users means many recipient which is already here in the database that means uh, i have created the table from insert table and uh, some content this is the data file and th this is the main sample invitation letter the main document it means this is the main document contain the basic text that will be same in all output document containing date this date text all this paragraph but but the post first name last name company name address country and postcode and again here the last name will be going to be different according to the recipient that we already have in our database here in this data table uh, so this is the file that we have recipient data that contains recipient uh, information like first name last name post company name address country and postcode it's a sample data but be careful while creating this file that should have well structured and compliance with the requirement for the data table it means the first row should contain field name for each column In here like first name the first row we have the first name last name post company name uh, feel like this and each row should provide information for particular recipient it means uh, the each row should be unique if you have abdul information here in the first uh, second row then uh, you can't give the again the another a b abdul information over here so that is one of the compliance um, or the requirement for the data table and uh, each row should provide information for particular recipient what i mean to say is that and the other no blank row it means uh, you you shouldn't have the blank row like this so i have already the data table compliance with the requirement for the data table let me close this and let me open the invitation table again now what we are going to do is we are going to insert those field over here and make the individual letter for the for each recipient individually you can use excel sheet or microsoft word with table to record data for recipient data it means uh, you can use i am using the word document with and uh, 
table to create the record here but you can use the excel sheet as well now what we have to do is we need to click on mailing tab then you will see the select recipient icon there just click on the drop down icon there and we already have the exist existing list so use that option and from the desktop there is the record so select that file and click on open and after that some of the features this icon are activated so here we are going to use the post so i select the post then from the insert field icon drop down i'm going to use the post and then after on the first name i'm going to insert first name and give the space here and the last name if you have the middle name you can use middle name as well last name enter and the company name select company name enter and the address select the address from here address uh, then country country then postcode postcode let me give the comma here okay and one more field is here so let me fill that one as well with the last name last name space okay now it's a dummy record now we are going to finish and create individual invitation later for all those recipient that we have on our um, data table over here from this it means uh, one for Abdul one for Pinke one for Matt one for Harry like that so what we have to do is from the finish and morse drop down click there if you want to print directly use this option or you want to print later just have a look and print later you can use edit individual document option from here now look you are getting the first record for first recipient record here same here a last name as well and if you move to the second page the another recipient another recipient now we you got everything here isn't it simple hope you found this video useful if you want to print you can print from here so uh, definitely i hope this video is useful for you if you have any query do comment on the comment box below i will answer as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe my channel hit and hit the like and bell icon thank you